don't cry for me, sweet Johnny, don't cry for me. Cause I've got women round me, one, two, three. And I hope that in this afterlife, you'll happy, happy be. So don't cry for me, sweet Johnny, don't cry for me. Mia's in heat. I kind of thought she had entered menopause, but apparently not. And there's like, she's dripping little drips on my floor. Yay! The neighbors downstairs are loud people. They're not arguing. They're just loud. So it's a little bit overcast today. Kind of was all day, which made working in the yard really pleasant. It was nice. That's what I did today. I just played outside. I was supposed to go get a blood test, but I didn't. I was supposed to make an appointment with another freaking doctor and I didn't. I had an unday. I was just telling Suzanne about my undays. I have some days where I just can't get it together to do anything productive. That's an unday. And I think we have to allow ourselves our undays. As men, women, we're kind of trained, I think, to believe that if we don't get something accomplished every day, um, especially for other people, then we feel guilty or we feel like we didn't do enough. And it's okay to just have an unday. Nobody really needed me today. But the earth needed me. Maya needed me. How you doing, Maya? How you doing, Boo? You got cramps. Yeah, I know, it's rough. Um, in other news, I'm very concerned about her. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think her cancer is back. Yeah, right next to her scar from her surgery, there's a little quarter-sized lump. Um, it was kind of hard to discern it from her scar for a while because her scar was kind of lumpy and bumpy. And, but now the scar is pretty well defined and this is just above it on her side. So I guess I'll take her in and have it looked at, but I don't know what we can really do at this point if it comes back. I, I, don't, I don't know. But... I don't want to get sad about it until I know for sure. But I kind of know for sure. And I feel like I know. So. Why do I look so flumpy in this video? I feel flumpy today. And this sweatshirt looks like super blue in the camera. It's really not that blue. It's just kind of a dull navy, but wow. Nice color, Kodak. Thanks. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's what else I did. Check this out. The little white rocks along our path here were all kind of falling down the hill into the creek. So I made a little border... And hopefully that's going to keep them from disappearing. And Maya still hasn't quite reached China yet. She's, she's trying. How many holes you got now, Maya? Three? Three big holes. Yay. And I made sure that the bunny was in place for Easter. Hell yeah, bunny. Bunny power. And I'm absolutely in love with this little guy. He's just like 
carved out of wood with some with a jigsaw and stuck onto a base. Some beadwork hung around his neck. But I got him secondhand at some, I don't know, some thrift store or something. And there's a little cactus that is the same set. I don't know if they were supposed to be bookends or what, but I love them. Yep, and there's the cactus. The cactus has a little cowboy boot thing around it. It's just so cute. And there's another Easter bunny. Yay. And my little fairy. She had wings, but they broke off. I don't have a lot of things to tell you about my life. First I was a little girl, and then I was a wife. Now I'm something different, something whimsical and free. So don't cry for me, sweet Johnny. Don't cry for me. Oh, don't cry for me, sweet Johnny. Don't cry for me. Cause I've got women round me, one, two, three. And I hope that in this afterlife, you'll happy, happy be. So don't cry for me, sweet Johnny. Don't cry for me. See you guys, if you burn incense in your hallway, then as you go up and down the hallway, it spreads it around. It's the house market. Hey guys, if you burn incense in your hallway, then as you go up and down the hallway, it spreads it around. It's the house market. Got two balls? You got two balls. Okay, what I was thinking, you guys, is to kind of help myself with my eating challenge. Challenges. Um, and to maybe encourage myself a little bit and maybe enlist some of your support. Um, I'm going to try and videotape, like... I'm not going to videotape myself eating because one of my biggest problems is that I can't seem to eat with my teeth in my mouth. Um, it just it feels like there's a Cadillac in my mouth and I'm trying to put food in there on top of the Cadillac and it's just not working. I've had these dentures for nine months now and I still can't get used to them enough to eat. So what happens is, you know, I put them in my mouth first thing in the day, and then I don't eat anything but liquids because I don't want to take them out and have to put them back in again with the adhesive and everything else. It's a big nightmare. So, um, since I'm not going to film myself eating, I will at least try and take photos of what I eat every day. And you guys can say, oh, wow, that's a lot, or uh, wow, that's not enough, or gee, I think that maybe you need to eat more. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I expect you guys to say. I don't know. But... I guess what I'm saying, you guys, is I need a little support around my eating. Um, and I understand that some of you, maybe most of you, have the opposite problem. You feel like you're eating too much or, you know, you can't control how much you eat. And I, I realize it's kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, but... Um, this way, I'll at least feel like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try and bring you into my food world a little bit. Um, and, you know, if you find that, that triggering or disturbing in any way, please be honest and let me know and I'll 
don't stop doing it. I just... I'm kind of grasping at straws. I'm ready to try anything to get myself to eat. So, any suggestions or wisdom is welcome. Anyway, I'm going to go home and spend the rest of my day, I think, on the telephone. Because I have a whole bunch of calls that I need to make. And, uh, get this video uploaded. And tomorrow I've got to go clean up the church. Get it all vacuumed and polished and all that good stuff for Holy Week. And I guess I'll be checking in with you while all that's going on. So I love you guys. Um, I watch all your videos and I think they're awesome. And I just, you know, three cheers for all you guys. All your little struggles and all your little joys and all your little accomplishments. I really love sharing them with you. And I guess I'll be talking to you in the next couple of days. Take care, guys. Bye. Did any of that even make sense? I, I don't even know. When I thought you needed it, I gave your face a smack. What really pissed me off was that you wouldn't hit me back. Now your memory's fading like a ship upon the sea. So don't cry for me, sweet Johnny. Don't cry for me. Oh, don't cry for me, sweet Johnny. Don't cry for me. Cause I've got women round me. One, two, three. And I hope that in this afterlife, you'll happy, happy be. So don't cry for me, sweet Johnny. Don't cry for me. I wrote that song.